1997, the Capcom Rinpoche was in Charlestown, West Virginia, to give the entire cycle of empowerments of the Kakyu Nakzo with Gyalpo Rinpoche and Garchen Rinpoche in attendance. During the initiations and teachings, Garchen Rinpoche had many visions and dreams, and once when Rinpoche was sitting on the throne, Garchen Rinpoche saw the throne grow in a gigantic triangular pedestal far above the world and as high as the heavens. On top, Chitsan Rinpoche changed into the revered old Drikung nun Kacho Wangmo of Telego Nunnery in Kam until her passing in the fall of 2007 at the age of 117 years. Visitors waited in a line in front of her simple monastery lodging every day. The figure that Garchen Rinpoche perceived in his vision was at the same time the manifestation of the young deity Vajra Yogini, the symbol of emptiness of all phenomenon and the primordial wisdom arising from it. Wild and graceful, she danced poised on one leg, and as her head moved from side to side, her unbound hair spread out in all directions to cover the entire earth, blessings streaming out from her undulating hair to all parts of the world. Allah Seemingly insignificant incidents shed more light on Chitan Rinpoche's intuitive and spontaneous activities. One evening, he was strolling along the streets of Taipei, Taiwan, with his disciple Rin Chen Dorje, then known as Yen Chen Ho, and happened to see a set of Chinese chess, Xiangqi. He asked his disciple how to play the game, so Rin Chen Dorje explained the complicated rules and, excited, the Kyapko Rinpoche wanted to play right away. At one point in the game, Rin Chen Dorje, although experienced at the game, made a poor move and Chitsan Rinpoche immediately seized the chance and won. He stunned his disciple and was instantly convinced that nothing in the world was too difficult for His Holiness to achieve. <laughs> Chitsan Rinpoche often acts without pausing to reflect in such a way that adverse circumstances are overcome with ease and favorable coincidences arise. He acts out of an innermost conviction as if everything need only be done no matter how impossible it may seem to the irrational mind. This is the secret method by which Vajrayana masters participate in the play of forces through which their goals spontaneously manifest, like an invisible intervention in the energetic fabric of the world. Chesang Tunle Lundrup, his name describes his way of acting. Tunle means enlightened activity and Lundrup, spontaneous arise. Sensa. What he wishes to accomplish occurs naturally, without calculating effort, as it is described in Tilapa's Mahamudra instruction. I have a big hand here. I drew this Mahamudra. When there is no deliberate effort, that is the king of conduct. What arises is the expression of unhindered wisdom, primordial awareness. Rinpoche realizes his goals with joy, releases them into the world, and keeps on working, guiding the Driku order with circumspection and wisdom. His heart is always compassionate toward everyone, especially toward the monks in training, whom the lamas and kempos often treat very strictly. The Kyapko Rinpoche does not become angry if someone rebels against him or speaks badly about him, but instead treats him with even greater attentiveness and kindness. This behavior often astonishes the monks attending him, but they have witnessed the continual success of his methods. In his youth, he was often hot-headed and irascible like his grandfather, but with his re-entry into monastic life and his acceptance of responsibility for the order, that energy has become transformed into a dynamic force field. Reports.
of miracles or inexplicable events in the life of a Rinpoche are a delicate matter, but they are like Catholic Church legends of saints, and they inspire faithful people to the path through exemplary lives. In the ashes of deceased Rinpoches, sometimes show relics. They appear like tiny pearls. And once it occurred in 1985 when Chetsan Rinpoche conducted a Chen Rizik Drupchen in the temple of the Buddhist society in Leh Ladakh. The Drupchen is a ritual in which the Mani Mantra Om Mani Padme Hom is recited continually day and night a hundred million times over a period of two weeks. The traditional three-level mandala representing the palace of the deity was constructed complete with many religious objects, statues and vases, as well as the offering cakes. During the events, butter melted from the cakes onto a mandala in the tradition of Songzan Gampo. When Sonam Dropel tried to wipe the butter from the board, he noticed small round white globules and immediately wondered if Ringsil, the relics, have appeared. He looked more closely and found an entire row. He tried to bite through one of them, but it did not break, an indication for a Ringsil. After a while, Rinpoche noticed the excitement that had taken hold of Sonam Dropel and the other monks near him around the mandala, and he descended from his throne and saw that they were indeed the highly prized relics. Rinpoche ordered the monks back to their places. Only at the end of the Drupche, when the mandala was being purified, did Rinpoche collect five rinkso, which he gave to Feyang Monastery to preserve. For years, Rinpoche wished to visit a cave in Zanskar where Naropa had meditated that was also the site of a famous sky burial ground, a place sacred to Chakrasamvara. A statue of Naropa revered throughout the region is kept there in the Sane Gompa, the local Drukpa Gagyu monastery. The figure made of clay mixed with medicinal substances, and some say even has Naropa's hair inside. In 2004, Chitsa Rinpoche was with Stakna Rinpoche, the former one, and they had a chance to also witness some ring cells appear in Ladakh and I find it very fortunate to narrate these events to you and share snippets from this high mountain region because yesterday I actually had a dream that I was in some marketplace in Ladakh and people were bartering and selling vegetables and I had a chance to also contribute to the local economy this is Adrian Chen and thank you so much for watching. I will share with you a map of Ladakh now. Very close to K2, one of the highest mountains in the world. Here's a stupa with wisdom eyes.